Hello friends. I was talking to Donna, who is my second daughter, Jackie's husband's mother. <laughs> and she just left us for New Jersey again. They live in New Jersey, but she was visiting. And she told me, she says, you know, I watch your videos and I love seeing all your China, but I just don't understand where do you keep it all? Where do you put all of your China? So I thought, well, maybe I'll just show you where I put all my China. <laughs> she said, do you have it in boxes in the garage or is it stored, you know, underneath the cabinet or where is it? I'm going to show you exactly where I store all of my China. So here's a picture or a video of my kitchen. And there's a small pantry. Then over here, we have another uh, small alcove that has the washer dryer. And then over here is the butler's pantry. There's some uh, drawers over here and over here is my dining room. So now you know the whole layout and the question is where is all the china? Mm -hmm. I show you. Here's cabinet number one and it's above the sink and on the very top shelf on the left is my everyday wedding china. That's Mikasa Studio Kiln. Um, now discontinued. On the right of that is some handmade thrown pottery that I use for stargazing parties because it looks like it looks like the universe. I'll show you. Here is the cabinet to the right of the sink. At the very top is Lennox Versailles China. And in the middle is my most recent addition, which is the Villaroy and Bach Sienna. This is the cabinet that is to the left of the stove. And on the very top left here is Haviland Blue Garland. That's my Aunt Anna's. Then here, these plates are um, Limoges. Those are adopted Limoges. Someone gave those to me because she no longer wanted them. This is my Aunt Anna's Everyday China. That's Snow White Regency. This is another set of my Aunt Anna's China, and that is um, Eggshell Nautilus, the Tulip Eggshell Nautilus. And then down at the very bottom, these are my everyday dishes, Costco. This is the cabinet to the right of the stove. At the very top is my fine china for, that I got for my wedding. It's Edme Wedgwood. Here in the pantry, I have the very top here, Queen Anne's Lace Bella Luxe Home Goods. And then this entire set of Avon Cape Cod that my mom bought me and collected over the years. Here's the butler's pantry. You'll be surprised to know that there is no actual china that I use on the top of the butler's pantry. That's mostly just uh, crystal, glasses, and serving pieces. But down here, we do have some china. This is called Wedgwood Florentine Black. Here in the dining room, I have, this is the Foster China. This is soon going to be going away. That's the beautiful Haviland from Donna's grandmother. Then over here in the China cabinet, on the bottom, I have the uh, Royal Albert Heirloom. And next to it, I have a set of Royal Crown Derby traditional plates there. 
Over here, I have my Ainsley Cottage Garden. That's my patio china. And then here, and in various other places in this cabinet, I have the Lomonosov uh, Blue Net China. And then over here, I have the Royal Tara Tara Brooch Tea Set without the teapot. Above the washer, <laughs> I have on the very left here, that's my Thanksgiving china. And then on the very top is a luncheon set. Um, it's a pottery luncheon set that my mother left me. Over here in the corner, I have my uh, Christmas china. And here I have my uh, home goods special, <laughs> golden special. And then here in the guest house, there's one cabinet. And at the very top is where my mom kept her china. So I have the apple pattern china that I grew up with. And at the very top is my husband Robert's mother's china, Margaret's beautiful dog white china. So there you have it. That's a tour of the China in Jill's house. And I feel blessed and grateful that I have the room for all of the China <laughs> so that it's easily accessible to me and I can use it at any moment. I don't have to drag it out of a box and wash it. Everything is clean and ready to go uh, whenever I wanna use it. So that's a lovely thing to have a hobby that you can access all the time. And the other thing is that you know, a lot of my china is very sentimental to me. And I would say over probably 70% of the china that I have has, has either been gifted to me or uh, I have adopted from families that did not want it. So, you know, I am carrying on their tradition as well as my tradition. So I hope you enjoyed the tour and I'll see you again tomorrow.